Hey everyone, hello. My name is Connie and to my left here is a beautiful Dara Jetwa. Dara Jetwa is a personal assistant. No, 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 she works as a personal assistant. That's me, that's okay. <laughs> hey everyone, this is Connie and on my left here is the beautiful Dara Jetwa. She works as a personal assistant. Dara, thanks for taking your time to talk to Thank me. Thank you for having me here. You're welcome. So, people might be wondering, what does a personal assistant do? Well, a personal assistant basically helps you out where you need help. Um, mm -hmm. For instance, if you run a big corporation or you have a business and you have a lot of things you have to worry about, getting probably clientele, maybe getting sponsorship, whatever it may be, you need to be out in the front, right? So sometimes you need help in the back end. You yes. know, whether it's processing paperwork, you know, placing orders, depending what type of business you have, um, whatever it is that you need to do on the back end, that's where you probably need the most help. Now, we can't be in one place or multiple places at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's when a personal assistant or an assistant um, definitely comes in handy to help you out. So that way your business is running smoothly and you can still be out in the front field doing what you need to do to bring in the business. Well, that, that makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. So now, me as a realtor uh -huh. or as a business owner, uh -huh. what are the benefits of hiring a personal assistant such as you? The benefits is that you know, you'll know you get the help for what you need it. Mm -hmm. So for instance, a realtor, you'll probably need help in processing paperwork. There's a lot of paperwork, like mortgage paperwork, oh, yeah. or, mm -hmm. right? Um, but you can't do all of that and at the same time be at the house, showing the house to um, you know potential customers or um, whatever it is that you know as a realtor or an agent does. Um, so that's when, as a personal assistant, I come in and I can help. Basically what I do is that you send me all the information, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you need done in the back end, so that way while you're out in the field, you don't have to worry about deadlines or anything like that. But what about the overhead expenses, Dara? Overhead expenses, um, well for a personal assistant, obviously you would have to you know, have an environment for them to work in. Okay. okay um, you would have to have an office space or what you know something the physical, like that. Right, yeah, the a physical, physical place okay. for them to work in. Just like this one, right? Yeah, just like this office, and you would have to provide them the necessary things that they would need to do their job. You know, whether it's um, supplies such as pens and papers, just, I mean, small little things. You know, uh, a copy it adds up. It adds up, and a laptop. You know, a lot of things are done online. So now. If you have a personal assistant working in your office, mm -hmm. you have to provide them a laptop, you know? Okay. Um, so there is, and it adds up at the end of the day. It's not like a, it's not like it's cheap or anything like that. No. But um, as a business owner or an agent who has a personal assistant, you have to make sure that they have the necessary things to do what they can to get the job done. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Which I know you also get the job done, which is yeah. why, you know, why we're here to talk. <laughs> yeah. And then, so, What's the trend now? If if I personally cannot afford to pay for a an, an office, right? Let's say, because it, it costs me a lot. Yeah. So how can you help me? Virtual. In terms of cost. Virtually. Um, oh. So now oh, virtual. Yeah. So virtual now they have virtual assistants, which okay. is a new trend that is um, starting up, which is actually pretty um, pretty cool to be honest. It's like wow. you can tell me. I can be anywhere around the world. I can be in Iowa, I can be in New Mexico, I can be anywhere around the world. You can be by the beach for all I know, right? Uh, yeah, I can be by the beach. And all you have to do is just be like, hey, guy, I need this done. As long as everything is done online, you're good to go. And majority of the things are starting to be done online. Applications are starting to be submitted online. Mm -hmm. All the processing, everything can paperless. be coming paperless. Everything is going paperless, yes. And so the beauty about being a virtual assistant is that one, as the owner or the person that has hired a virtual assistant, they don't have to worry about overhead expenses like electricity. Imagine if you hire someone, a personal assistant to come and sit for like five to eight hours in the office. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're paying for the electricity for those five to eight hours. You know, um, Then you have to probably pay for the cost of supplies that they would need to do the work. Mm -hmm. You know, Like a laptop, um, paper, pencil, whatever it may be. Like those small little things will add up at the end of the day. Whereas a virtual assistant, you don't really have to worry about that. They technically have their own 
um, supplies. Now some, in some cases they may be like, if it's certain supplies that they need tailored to your company, yes. then you have to provide that, obviously. But that'll be minimal. That'll so be minimal, minimal. yes, yeah. that'll be minimal. But the majority of the expenses, no. It's, it's all done online, so you don't have to worry about it. Yeah. So basically you just only, basically what would happen is that you would just pay for my help. That makes sense. You won't have to worry about the expenses, overhead expenses. Yeah, it's, it's so, oh, perfect. Yeah. That sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, if you're looking, if you're thinking about hiring a personal assistant, um, we have one here. I will put her information at the bottom of this um, video and you can reach out to her personally. Again, Dara, thank you so much for yeah. taking your time. Thank you for having and me. And all the best. Yes.